Something bizarre is unfolding, a mysterious gravitational anomaly is disrupting our solar system. Jupiter is now hurtling toward the Sun on a collision course. What happens when a massive gas giant crashes into an even larger one? How would Jupiter travel to the heart of the solar system? Could the Sun grow even larger and more intense? And what dangers might this pose for life on Earth? Exploring what would happen if the Sun devoured Jupiter. Before we witness the most spectacular collision in our solar system's history, let's consider how such an event could even take place. For Jupiter to plunge into the Sun, an extraordinary cosmic event would have to occur. Its orbit would need to be drastically disrupted by an immense gravitational force, one powerful enough to completely alter its trajectory. The most probable causes would be a rogue star or a black hole coming dangerously close to our solar system. These objects would need to be extremely massive, at least a few times the mass of our Sun. As they move through interstellar space, they would inevitably interact with Jupiter's powerful gravitational field. Given that Jupiter is roughly 318 times more massive than Earth, its gravitational influence extends far and wide. Whether a rogue star or black hole pulls Jupiter in a certain direction or transfers significant kinetic energy, it would gradually make the planet's orbit more eccentric. This increased gravitational influence would affect nearby objects, as seen in 1994 when the 2 km wide comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 strayed too close to Jupiter. The planet's immense gravity not only captured the comet but also shattered it into multiple fragments. By the time these fragments collided with Jupiter, they were already dispersed, marking the first recorded direct observation of an extraterrestrial impact. Interestingly, Shoemaker-Levy 9 had been drawn into Jupiter's gravitational pull about two decades earlier, becoming an active comet, a phenomenon observed for the first time. However, its trajectory eventually led it dangerously close to Jupiter's surface. The immense tidal forces tore the comet apart, and within a year, its fragments crashed into Jupiter at a staggering speed of 60 km per second, over 210,000 km per hour. The impacts on Jupiter produced fireballs that reached temperatures exceeding 23,000 degrees Celsius, rising an incredible 3,000 kilometers above the planet's edge. The most significant collision left a dark mark 12,000 kilometers wide, comparable in size to Earth, and released energy equal to 6 million megatons of TNT, over 600 times the power of the world's entire nuclear arsenal. While other impacts have been less intense, they have been observed and documented, supporting the idea that Jupiter serves as a cosmic shield, protecting the inner planets of the solar system from devastating collisions. Jupiter, with its immense gravitational pull, also presents mesmerizing phenomena that intrigue astronomers. For example, auroras are not exclusive to Earth. While Earth's auroras can be seen with the naked eye, their brightest emissions occur in ultraviolet light. The Hubble Space Telescope, capable of detecting ultraviolet wavelengths, has allowed scientists to study these stunning light shows on other planets. Among them, Jupiter's auroras are the most accessible for observation, as the planet is not only the largest and nearest of the gas giants but also possesses a powerful. When Jupiter gets close enough to be torn apart, it reaches what is known as the Roche limit. For a planet the size of Jupiter, this would occur at just under 900,000 kilometers from the Sun. At this proximity, Jupiter would become tidally locked, similar to Mercury. This means it would complete one full rotation on its axis for each orbit around the Sun. However, for tidal locking to take effect before the planet begins to break apart, its rotation speed would need to change drastically. Currently, Jupiter completes a full rotation every 10 hours, but to achieve tidal locking at this distance, it would need to rotate more than twice as fast. If this were to occur, one side of Jupiter would always face the Sun, while the other would remain in darkness. Additionally, the gravitational pull would vary across the planet, with the Sun-facing side experiencing increasing levels of stretching. Jupiter would no longer appear as a massive gaseous sphere. Instead, it would take on a more elongated, elliptical form. Imagine it undergoing a process similar to spaghettification. What happens when an object crosses a black hole's event horizon, though in a slightly less extreme manner? However, this wouldn't make its fate any less catastrophic. Jupiter's atmosphere would begin to peel away, creating a luminous ring of dust and gas encircling the Sun. This phenomenon, known as an accretion disk, marks the point where Jupiter's dramatic descent becomes even more fascinating. Since both Jupiter and the Sun primarily consist of hydrogen and helium, the question arises, as Jupiter gets absorbed, would the Sun grow larger and more powerful? Given that our planet is already warming at an alarming rate, this scenario might sound concerning. However, there's no need to worry too much, this collision wouldn't significantly impact the Sun's energy output. Despite Jupiter's massive size, it accounts for only about 0.1% of the Sun's mass, so the difference would be barely noticeable. 
For a brief period, the Sun would shine slightly brighter as it absorbs and converts Jupiter's energy. This would be the first noticeable effect on Earth. You'd experience a bit of extra daylight, and at night, the sky would glow a little brighter as Jupiter's final moments unfold before it disappears into the Sun. The most significant impact would stem from the massive gravitational void left by Jupiter's disappearance from our solar system. For billions of years, Jupiter has functioned as a cosmic vacuum, drawing in comets and asteroids of various sizes. Without its protective presence, Earth would be more vulnerable to new threats. The likelihood of collisions with massive objects, often called planet killers, would increase, posing one of the greatest dangers to our planet. The survival of all life on Earth would be at greater risk, but probabilities are just probabilities, right? There's always a chance we could end up in the path of one of these cosmic wanderers. I wonder which ones we should be most concerned about. Could one of these asteroids even strike the moon? That might be a challenge for our space correspondent, Chase. As you've probably seen on the channel, he's been on countless missions for us, whether it's spending 5 seconds on Titan's lakes or diving straight into Uranus. Sadly, he doesn't always make it back in one piece. But now, Chase has launched his own channel, and he's gearing up for one of his most ambitious adventures yet. That's right, he's attempting to build a burger restaurant on the moon. The big question is, can he survive? 